Today I'm in the Maple Woods and I'm going down, going through and cleaning out all the culvert pipes. Doing this because we've had a lot of wind and rain lately and it brings down all the debris and it actually clogs up the pipes which end up washing out the roads. So to prevent issues during season, we're gonna tackle them now so that way we have less problems in the future. So this pipe here actually looks pretty good. Here's a little frog, Let's see if you can see him. I'm not too scared there. Come on, bud. He's just chilling. Anyways, this one looks pretty good. Just gonna move the one limb there. Make sure it doesn't pick anything else up. So what we're doing is we're gonna take this. We're gonna carry it actually to the top of the hill here, over across to the other side, so that way it doesn't get swept up in rain. And then moved on to the next pipe. I really should have worn my tall muck boots and I actually brought them. They're in my car. But then I figured, I don't know, I already had these on and I didn't feel like changing and it was probably a bad choice because they're the short ones. I'm probably gonna get soaked. We've got a few more issues, so this might take a minute. A lot of stuff up in there. I got it pretty cleaned out. There's a few little twigs out there still so floating down in here, but I'm hoping that the water will kind of push them through. But Come back and check it out in like a week or two. See what it looks like. And good thing we're in a creek because my hands got pretty gross. So rinse them off and on to the next. Thought I'd show you this one quick because it is so clean compared to all the other ones. Check it out. Just a few twigs we got to move. That's what I like to see. record anymore but this one is the worst so figured why not show you what one that looks terrible actually looks like well I should have worn gloves but they just got wet and muddy anyway so I'm trying to throw it up top and then I'm gonna clear it out from up top after I'm done I'm applying the throwing some on the side over here and I'm pulling that up after I'm done because right now it's just a disaster. I time lapse this for you, but my hands are really nasty. So not gonna happen because I'm not taking my camera. All this stuff that like really gets clogged up when there's a big log or something in there and this stuff comes through and clogs it right up we don't want all these twigs going back into the creek so now threw them on the side I'm just gonna grab them Throw them on the other side and then we'll get moving down the road. Mud on you never hurt anyone. That's what creeks are for.
Just like that, we're all clean. This one looks pretty good. On to the next one. We have quite a few culvert pipes going down the road. And here's what the road looks like. It's actually an old railroad track that is now our maple woods. So I'll spare you, I won't take you along and show you every single pipe because that will take a while, but this is just one aspect of making maple syrup that a lot of people don't see. So I just thought I would take you along, show you some different things so you can see how much work actually goes into maple, making maple syrup because there's a lot more than people think. So I'm going to continue on my journey down the railroad track right now, cleaning out these pipes. But if you guys would like to support Boxer Maple and get yourself some delicious maple syrup, go to boxermaple.com. See you next time.